Okay, so hopefully you enjoyed the title. Not by the hairs of my chinny chin chin, yes. Now I will tell you there's no chin hairs today and I'm okay with acknowledging that because this is where we are people. This is where we are. Not only did I go in for my eye exam last year, because I go every November, um, and the doc says, you're gonna need some readers, okay? So I was like, okay, well since I'm here in Target, let me go pick up some readers. Um, but they're kind of cute too. They are kind of cute. <laughs> and here I thought I was trying to sound like my daddy. It's just lighting. It's the lighting. The lighting is bad. No, it's called age. And I'm not understanding why aging is such a bad word. I absolutely love it. Love every single minute of it. Um, I'm not digging the changes that are coming with, but I am loving the aging part. I, okay, let's say this. If you're aging gracefully, you're probably on the positive side of, I don't mind getting old. Maybe. I could be wrong. Let me know. If the world has not been your friend, uh, you may be on team I don't want to age. I don't know. I don't know. But let's say this. So let's just talk about where we are now. Gwendolyn is 47. And I don't normally put on um, a face of makeup. I tend to do it when I have to record some things. So today just happens to be like content creation day, full disclosure. And so I already have this uh, makeup on, but it's not even that much makeup if you ask me but whatever but I'll, I'll talk about that in another one but the changes I have seen since we cross over the 45 mark is interesting there are the chin hairs that pop up right like they pop up now um, the skin is acting a little funny sometimes like there was a moment when it was just peeling I can't even tell you why and I'm obviously I'm keeping a record of when these changes come through because I'm I'm assuming it's hormonal maybe it's almost that time so now we're peeling that could be it maybe it's stress don't really know but we're keeping a journal so that I can just record some stuff and yes I have changed my routine I have also changed the product I'm using I'm sure you guys <laughs> ladies have read an article or two about the makeup regimen when you're in your 20s, in your 30s, in your 40s, in your 50s, all that. So I, I, I know you guys have read it. I know you have. Big proponent of sunscreen because I am a now retired marathon runner. Okay. Um, well, <laughs> running all together, honestly. So I get the idea of protecting the skin and things of that nature. I really do. So sunscreen is high on the list, but just the hormonal changes. And I'm going to put this out here too. We are going to go full disclosure, ladies, full disclosure. So, you know, if you're a dude, you might want to go ahead and disconnect because I'm about to go there. Birth control. Now, I have had my fair share of surgeries. I had a biopsy, um, winter break, senior year. So we were like 17. I have been having mammograms since... I was 18 because every year I got to go in to check it to make sure things are not uh, out of whack, right? So that's when we started with having like our, our major body surgeries. And so we have had other surgeries that have caused me to be put on birth control. And as much as folks hate the pill, um, on a positive note, I had the best skin ever. It's a side effect that it will keep your skin as clear as the day like not an inch of acne now that I'm off of it because I'm older I had a pimple not so long ago I just about I just about died just about died and also too I'm gonna go ahead and say it my husband might be like why but yes these girls yeah that's birth control right there them bitches were not this big when it started and then when it ended I was like okay well I don't have any kids, which can also get you like a nice little, uh, but, um, but this works. But the changes that we go through, 
the skin changes, haven't had hot flashes, the chin hairs and all the other wonkiness that comes with. You know, it can be a bitch, not gonna lie about it. But I am running into it, literally running into it graciously. So we are sitting down to really look at what routines work for us, what doesn't. Like we haven't picked up a lot of weight, like I don't run anymore. So consider that I was doing 20 to 22 miles a week in my height of my running days to doing zero running. Cause I'm thinking protect the knees, protect your ankles, protect your feet. That's what I'm thinking. I move towards more low impact. So I do the rowing, I do Pilates, I jump rope, and I still walk the track. But we're not doing the running. The weight has come on. I ain't got up to 170 pounds. And I thought to myself, okay, so I don't want to buy any more clothes. I like my dresses, but I can't get into them bitches. So we need to get back to like some sort of regimen that's not running. And I do miss it. I mean, if I lived with a little wine, maybe I'd probably lose another pound or two. But I'm at a place where I'm not trying to be something I am not. You know how they said at one point that 30 is a new 20, 40 is a new 30? No, it's not. No, it's not. Okay? 40 is, I almost said it, 40 is 40, okay? 50 is 50. And those are beautiful, beautiful places to be in your life. Some of us may not make that number for various reasons. So when we are blessed to see that other number, I believe put your arms around it, squeeze it tight, and like embrace it. Like really, embrace it. So I don't mind talking about the changes we're going through. My husband, not so much. He don't want to hear about all of that, but that's okay. He gonna hear it anyway. But I don't mind. He's like, are you shaving your chin hair? Yes, I am. <laughs> yes, I am. I am kind of get rid of it. Um, but these are things that happen. And to act as if getting older is like a, a dirty word, like a dirty thing to go through, that's ridiculous, okay? That's ridiculous. So most of my blog posts, if you probably noticed, I am barefaced. I've taken care of my skin. I do get enough water. Um, I do get out to get the vitamin D. You do need some sun, some sun. You do need it for your overall like you know, body functions and things. But I also rest, right? I'm not stressing myself out over stuff that I have no control over. So all of those things make a difference. But I'm at a place of maintenance. I just wanna maintain. I am down to 160 pounds. I'll talk about that on the next uh, blog because I wanna talk about intermittent fasting and just diets and things of that nature. But we are down in, in weight. We have new in intentions, there are new habits to keep it, jumping rope was one of them. And so, you know, I don't mind saying, yeah, I'm 47, proud of it, looking good too. Like, check a bitch out, check it out. Proud of it, but I am curious for the ladies, and, and, you know, and guys can add their stuff in too, because I have noticed, I'm gonna say it real quick, I have noticed some advertisements geared towards men, that the moment you hit 40, all of it goes downhill including your Johnson, okay? Now, I don't know if it's true or not because my husband ain't got them problems, but I am curious, what is the feeling about aging? Are you happy for it? Are you like trying to hold it back? Um, have you had plastic surgery? Are you doing other things to keep yourself youthful? It's a number, it's a number and I wear mine proudly. All right. Let me know, put it in the comments, talk to you guys very soon.